to move for the citing in contempt of that uh, yeah. media Maka person. Yari ka dyan. Ikulong natin dyan. Huh? Kung uh, ayaw magsabi ng totoo. Kumusta po kayong lahat dyan mga kababayan? Welcome back sa PH Update. Meron pong nangyayari ngayon sa Senado. No? Isang senador, ha? meron pong isang senador ang uh, nag-leak kung ano ang napag-usapan nitong ating uh, mga senador sa executive session. Yan po ang pag-uusapan natin dito sa video na to. At itong si Senator Estrada ay eh, umuusok sa galit dahil sa katagal-tagal po niya daw naging senador, ngayon pa lang nagkaroon ng ganyang klaseng insidente na kung saan merong nag-leak ng kung anong napag-usapan sa executive session. Pero bago po yan, pakilike ng ating video para lagi po kayong updated. Ayun na nga no, mga kababayan. Nang dahil dyan sa ex, uh, confidential fan ni Bibi Sara, no? uh, gusto po talagang buhay itong issue. Ang alam lang naman po nating uh, galit na galit dyan sa confidential fan ni Bibi Sara dyan sa Senado ay eh, itong si Senator Tulpo at itong si Senatora Risa Honteveros. Ngayon, ang tanong dito, sino po kaya ang nag Ha? Kung ano ang napag-usapan nitong mga senador na to sa executive session at napakabigat po pala ng kaparusahan ha? ng uh, kung sino man na maglilik sa ganyang klasing mga sensitibong impormasyon na pag-uusapan nila sa executive session. Kung ano yung kaparusahan na yan, sabay-sabay po nating malalaman yan dito sa video na to. Huwag natin patagalin ito mga kapapain. Ito na po ang buong video. Ayun, matindi-tindi po itong uh, sisiwala dito ni Senator Jingoy. No? Matindi po itong mga kababayan. Executive session, eh, meron po nga uh, naglabas ng mga pinag-usapan sa executive session. Bawal po yung mga kababayan. Sino kaya sa mga senador yun? Senator Jingoy Estrada is recognized. Ako po. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> Mr. President, yesterday, we had on the all senators caucus and we uh, discussed lengthily the budget of the Republic of the Philippines and uh, just before we entered this August chamber much to my dismay mm. and much to our dismay Nakupo. there were there was a news report that Ayan. identified eight or nine senators Nakupo. And there were names on that list. Eight or nine senators who wanted to restore the confidential and intelligence fund of the Vice President and the Department of Education. Nakupo. And I wish to tell the people of the Philippines that there was no votation that happened yesterday with regard to the uh, intelligence fund of the uh, Vice President and the Department of Education. In Sino fact, kaya yun? we had an executive session. And I do not know who of our colleagues who scooped or leaked our conversation to this Nakupo. media outlet. I have been a senator here for more than 10 years. And this is the first time that I encountered a scoop or a leakage. I do not know. I do not want to name names. This is a violation of our rules. Ayun. Sino po kaya yung uh, senador na nag-leak na yun sa, ng pinag-usapan nila ng ano, executive session? And the majority floor leader will expound it later. Mr. President, we tackled, we discussed lengthily for almost two hours the schedule, etc., of the budget of the, Fili of the Republic of the Philippines. We never touched or we never voted with regard to all the intelligence fund or confidential fund. In fact, we agreed unanimously to remove all the confidential and intelligence fund, not only that of the office of the vice president, including not only that of the Department of, of Education, but all security or e civilian agencies na merong confidential and intelligence fund. Mr. President, 
I will just read. Naku po, ayan na, babasahin na po. Sino mga pangalan? First on the list, Senator Robin Padilla. Ayun. Christopher Bongo. Ayun. Ramon Bong Revilla Jr. R Ronald Bato de la Rosa. Mga kaalyado yun eh. Lito oh. Lapid, Francis Tolentino, and Cynthia Villar. They are putting us in a bad light. And I condemn this. Sino kaya yung uh, kasama doon sa executive session na hindi kasama dyan sa listahan na yan? Ako po. And I take offense on this. Nakalagay pa. Senator Pia Caetano is said to be supportive of reinstating Duterte's confidential funds if she can justify the need for them. This is not true. And I hope Senator Pia Caetano will agree with me. Yung mga... Just for a while, Naku. Mr. President, hinahanap pa ni Senator Robin yung mga nakasulat. Bawal po yun, no? Yung ilalabas sa publiko yung pinag-usapan nila sa executive session. Bawal na bawal po yun. Eh, no? Umiiling na po yun siya, no? Senate President. Ano ba tayo dito? Converge? Uh, PLDT? Secretary? Ah, uh, DICT? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, please proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. And if I may quote, Anis Cooper told this media outlet that Senators Sani Angara, Francis Escudero, Rafi Tulfo, Aquilino Pimentel III, and Risa Ontiveros mm. are allegedly against the rain. Ayun. Ibig sabihin, kung tayong tatanungin, nasa isa po dun sa mga yun ang uh, naglik ng executive section. Statement of Duterte's secret allocation which are lodged under the office of the Vice President and the Department of Education. Nako po. Mali-mali po itong report, Mr. President. And I think uh, Senator Angara must not be included in this list. <laughs> and among the offices... Duterte's allocation was part of the 1.2 billion in confidential funds that the House realigned to agencies focused on the West Philippine Sea. Mr. President, tumayo po ako dito dahil masamang masama po ang loob ko. I really felt insulted. And I think my other colleagues here also felt the same way, Mr. Mm -hmm. President. Kailangan and, uh, Mr. Mo President, I stand before you and I... Uh, want to make this recommendation maybe to talk to this media outlet or to summon this media outlet and, and ask them who among us violated our rules? Who among yeah. us leaked what transpired in our executive session yesterday? That's all, Mr. President. Thank you, uh, Senator Jingoy. Before I recognize the other members, may I just like to put on record, <laughs> I too am very disappointed I have been a senator for six plus six, uh, four plus six, ten plus two, twelve years, and a member of Congress for nine years. And when we say executive session, we are bound by rules of both mm. the House of Representatives. And when I was in the mm. House of Representatives, and rules of the Senate when I was elected as a senator. Uh, before I recognize the majority floor leader on the repercussions of violating that rules. I would just like to put on record as well that we had a healthy discussion. There was no voting that took place. There was a healthy discussion on how we will treat this uh, budget, particularly on the confidential and intelligence funds. It's not fair to say that one group was for this and one group was for that, because in the end, tama po sinabi ni Senator Estrada, we were unanimous in the committee report that the good gentleman from Aurora will be presenting today. We are in full support of his committee report. Now, I am very alarmed. As a matter of fact, that's why we were late. I usually try to start at 3 p.m. We had a meeting with the leadership, Senator Joel Villanueva and Senator uh, Lauren Legarda. We met because of the implications of leakages during executive session. Paano po kung uh, national security yung uh, nalik? No, yung mga masisailan informasyon, napunta sa mga masasamang loob, 
eh, delikado po yun mga kababayan. Kaya talagang kailangan na uh, tutukan ng uh, uh, pansin itong ano na to, insidente na to. The Executive Department and very uh, sensitive agencies of government may no longer divulge information to the executive session if they know somebody might leak it. That's why mm. I take this very strongly Nakupusin and I make yun? sure, and I told the majority floor leader that I even called up Senator Nancy Binay because she is the head of the Ethics Committee that we have to send a very strong signal that this shall not happen again. Sino po ba yung alam natin sobrang kontra na kontra dyan sa uh, uh, ano yan, uh, confidential fund? Si Hontiveros, itong si Senator Rafi Tulpo, sila lang ang pundalo yung dinig nating vocal na vocal dyan eh. At kung meron o wala man silang pinag-usapan kaugnay dyan sa confidential fund na yan, aba, wala po. <laughs> So, Majority Floor Leader? Um... Uh, yes, Mr. President. Be be kung meron mapagbibintangan kung sino ang nag-scoop dyan sa, ano, sa mainstream media na uh, meron kuno daw sila na pag-usapan sa executive session. Ako po, malaking Before problema. Before I uh, give my uh, statement, Mr. President, which I, uh, uh, I, I actually agree with your uh, manifestation and the uh, statements made by our uh, dear colleague, Senator Jingoy Estrada, Senator Cheese Escudero is uh, seeking the floor to uh, clarify something, Mr. President. Yes, Senator uh, Escudero is recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I agree 100% with what Senator Jingoy Estrada said, that the account is not accurate and that is not what transpired in executive session. I hope, Senator Jingoy, you and I will not be sanctioned for saying part of what happened, as you said, it was the unanimous consensus of the members of the Senate in the executive session. Kita po, kahit maliit lang, maliit lang na parte ng executive session, naaano pa sila, natatakot pa sila na sabihin kasi bawal talaga. Sino kaya yung senador na yun? No. So this is not, the, 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 the facts contained in the article, Mr. President, Your Honor, is not a leak. Chismis yun. So there is no leak to speak of really with respect to what truly transpired in the executive um Session, an attempt perhaps to uh, create a story about it, but I confirm the statement of the good Senate President and the Senator Jingoy that it was the unanimous position of the House, what Senate of the Senate rather, what Senator Angara will be sponsoring today and the other vice chairpersons. That was the unanimous position of the Senate and all the members of the Senate. Thank you, Senator Scudero. But before we re ask our colleague to react, Senator, Scud uh, Senator Strada, may we ask the Majority Floor Leader, what are the rules, particularly in executive session? Yes, Mr. President. So we are all clear. Thank, thank you very much. Mr. President, first of all, let me state uh, and put into the records that I'm aghast of what happened, Mr. President. Whether this is leak or pure chismis, the fact that it came out, Mr. President, and uh, it appears blow by blow, and uh, uh, unfortunately, Mr. President, the, the figures, the numbers, even the, uh, uh, the names that were mentioned were, were uh, disoriented, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. I would just like to uh, put into the record of this chamber, Mr. President, what our rules say about executive session. Rule, uh, what's this, rule, on, on, on Section 126 uh, of our rules, Mr. President, uh, Mr. President, Section, sorry, Section 129 of our rules, Mr. President, it states here, and I quote, any senator who violates the provisions contained in the preceding section may, by a two-thirds vote of all the senators, be expelled no. from the Senate. And if the violator is an official or employee of the Senate, he shall be dismissed. I like to put that on record, Mr. President, because at the end of the day, it's not just the league. Pero sa totoo lang, wala pa pong... Meron na po ba kayo naalalang na-expelled na, ano, na senator? Wala pa po. The chismis that we're talking about here, and I agree with Senator Jingoy Estrada being one of our uh, 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 veteran senator here in the Senate, Mr. President, it's more of the sanctity. It's more of the sanctity of the executive session. We continue to uh, perform our duties and responsibilities here in the Senate during committee hearings, 
uh, of Senator Bato, he would call for executive session. Eh, paano ho tayong pagtitiwalaan mm. ng mga nasa executive? Paano tayong pagtitiwalaan ng, ang, ng taong bayan kung ang ating executive session ay uh, nangyayari po Sumisigaw. yung mga ganitong uh, pangyayari, Mr. President. And so again, Mr. President, let And me may just... Add, may add, Majority Floor Leader, Section 28, the preceding section, is very important. The President, as well as the Senators and officials of the, and employees of the Senate, shall absolutely refrain from divulging. from divulging any of the confidential matters taken up by the Senate and all proceedings which might have taken place in the Senate in connection with the said matters shall be likewise considered as strictly confidential, confidential until no. the Senate, by two-thirds vote of all its members, decides to lift the ban of secrecy. Thank so, you, Mr. Mr. Yung Very clear. Rules natin. Very, Very clear, clear, Mr. President. Yeah. Crystal clear, Mr. President. Mr. President, Senator Jingoy is uh, seeking the floor. Move that yes, to be recognized. Senator Strada. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. I would like to associate myself with the uh, comments made by the majority leader. Kahit chismis yan or gossip yan, walang problema sa kanyan. Ang problema, bakit or pa paano lumabas sa isang media outlet yung mga nag-transpire sa ating usap, usapin kahapon. Yes. That problema is, yan. For me, that is the most important thing. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Uh, Senator, uh, the Minority Floor Leader? Senator Bato de la Rosa is uh, seeking the Maybe floor. Maybe we can Mr. give President. the Minority Floor Leader first, if you don't mind, Senator Yes, Mr. Rosa. President. The Minority yes. Leader, Mr. Thank President. Thank you, Mr. President. Ako nga, nangayon ko lang po nabasa, disappointed nga ako sa report eh. Kasi, ang sabi doon na uh, against ako sa uh, restoration ng CF ng Office of the Vice President. Tama yun, pero kulang. Kasi yes. kahapon ako sinasabi ko, tanggalin din ang intelligence fund ng Office of the President. So kunin Ayun. yung, yung report, ipakidagdag sa report. Kasi the Office Pakidag of the President <laughs> is, uh, non, is a civilian office, uh, not an armed uh, agency, and a, not a unit. Yung kay uh, BP Sara, okay nang tanggalin, pero yung sa Presidente, Presidente po yun, sir. No? Kailangan po talaga niya ng intelligence kung merong mga uh, outside attack o kung ano pa mang intel na kailangan malaman. Eh, kailangan po maglabas ng pera. No? Uniformed agency. So kulang po, pakidagdag na lang. You are not violating the rules because you are div divulging your own position. Yes. So, yes, Senator Bato de la Rosa is recognized. Mr. President, it is very unfortunate that this kind of incident happened uh, with the Pero siguro ang tayong hindi siya yung tiversion. Number one, Mr. President, Tingin natin it, na hindi uh, siya yung tiversion. Creates distrust from among us 24 senators. Ibig sabihin, the next time around that we are going to have our caucus or uh, executive session, Wala na. Hindi na ako basta-basta magsasalita. Baka mamaya, meron na naman maglilik sa media. So, pangit po. 24 lang tayo dito na senador at hindi pa natin mapagkatiwalaan <laughs> ang isa't isa natin, Mr. President. Naku po. Number two, it tarnishes, it tarnished the image of the Senate. 24 lang tayong hinalal ng buong Pilipinas at hindi pa natin mapagkatiwalaan ang isa sa atin na pwedeng nag Hinihintay kong magsalita itong Senator Tulpo eh. If indeed, it was leaked by any member of uh, the Senate. Kung ang nag-leak naman noon ay empleyado na nandun sa loob. Well, as a police officer, Mr. former police officer, Mr. President, I can vividly recall kung sinong nandun sa loob. Dalawang staff ni Senator Angara. Si... Si... Uh, ma ma Mabik? Oh, Attorney Mabik. Attorney Mabik. At may isang kasama si Attorney Mabik na babae. So, apat silang na, na, nalaman ko na nandun sa loob. Magprangkahan tayo dito. Dapat, we have to made into account yung tao na responsable dito. Hindi lang na magsisente ng stern warning sa kanila. Kundi, the damage has been done. Lumabas na yung balita niya, nasira na kung sinong dapat masira. But I don't Correct. care kung masira ang reputasyon ko. Ang sa akin lang, ma-preserve yung ating, uh, yung ating uh, reputasyon. 
assassinate. Hindi po maganda yung, uh, hindi tayo magkakitiwalaan dito. 24 lang tayo, Mr. President. And the so, waiter staff, huwag mo kalimutan yung mga staff sa likod. Yung mga waiter din, yung uh, nandun din sila. Isama natin sa investigasyon yung Mr. President. So well, if, if, if the, the uh, chamber wishes, I can ask Senator Nancy Binay, who is the chairperson of the Committee on Ethics, to look into this closely. If it is uh, all right with the body. Yes, I, I support, Mr. President. I support the the call of uh, Senator Jingo Estrada that uh, yung source nitong news na ito, if, it's, if it is a politiscope, he has to be uh, called by, before a hearing para malaman natin kung sinong source niya. At kung hindi siya magsabi ng totoo, I will be the first one to move for the citing in contempt of that uh, yeah. media no, person, Mr. Ka President. Ka Ikulong natin yan huh? kung uh, ayaw magsabi ng totoo. Tama, Mr. President, tama hey, this, is not a, this is not a laughing matter. This is serious. People, pa, Filipino people are watching us right now. Sabihin nila, ganyan na pala sinado ngayon. Hindi ba pagkatiwalaan? Sila sila lang nag-uusap. Maglilik pa doon sa media. It's very dangerous, Mr. President. Very yeah. dangerous. Masyado nga uh, akong uh, disbayado. We Thank agree. you, Mr. President. We, we agree with the gentleman from Davao, and that's no, why no. after these proceedings, I will ask Senator Nancy B. and I, Chair of the Committee on Ethics, to investigate the matter. Uh, yes, Mr. President. After Senator, yes. Mr. President. I, may I move that uh, the Senate Committee on Ethics um, conduct a hearing and uh, call, uh, invite, invite the source of the news, Mr. President, so that uh, everything will be cleared out. Yes, we'll ask the majority floor leader to make the... Baka sabihin lang niya, meron nag-text sa kanya ng uh, unknown number, no? Pwede kaya yun? Ngayon, dito na nga po na tatapusin ang ating reaction video. So, Riz, mag-ingat po kayo lahat. Mahalin natin ang Pilipinas.